Hi everyone. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad you're here to watch this video with me today. I'm sorry we couldn't go to school together, but I was so excited to make a video just for you. I thought today what we might do is read a book called The Squiggle. Do you see that? The Squiggle. See the squiggly line up here? And she's hanging on to the squiggly line. Look at that. I like that line. I think it's cool looking. And then I'm also going to work in this journal. This is what I call my art journal. And I love to make paintings inside of it, just like this. Look at those paintings. Some of them aren't finished. And some of them, uh, sort of finished, but almost there, almost finished. But I love to paint and do all kinds of cool things in this book. So I thought we might look at those too because there's a lot of squiggly lines in here too, and I will show you what they look like a little bit later, okay? So I'm gonna set that to the shine way over here, and then I'm going to read this book to you guys. You ready? All right, let's make sure we don't get that glare on there. Look at that nasty glare, but makes you see a lot better. Okay, this book is called The Squiggle. You ready? Here we go. My teacher says, time to walk to the park. So as always, off we go in a bunched up, slow, tight, straight line. I am last. No one else sees what I see on the sidewalk. Hey guys, check this out. Look at this down here. Oh, look at that line. It's sneaking up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I grab it and slither slish. It could be the dance of a big scaly dragon. Roar! Or it could be push a pat the top of a long great wall. Look at that. It's so long. Look how big that wall is. Oh, it goes all the way up to here. Oh my goodness gracious. Snap. Ta-da. Maybe it's the path of a circus acrobat. Look at that. Or crack, crickle, hiss, the sky trail of a popping fireworks. Look at that. Whoosh. All over the place. You could just hear it cackling and hissing. Tug, kaboom. It might be the poof of a stormy thundercloud. Boom, just a huge thundercloud. And look at these lines down here in the water. Oh my goodness. There's so much movement and energy. Or this line, ripple, shh, whoop, whoop, whoop. The circle of a deep, still pool. Or even, Ah, whoosh, the rise of the full, fat moon. Look at that. Not so far ahead, I see my teacher and my class shuffling along. Wait, I call. Look. Everyone turns around. I show the dragon. The wall up here how long it is and the acrobat the line of the acrobat the fireworks crack hiss the storm cloud poof and the pool of water whoop, whoop, whoop. and the big fat moon everyone is smiling Hooray! They cheer and grab on too. Then off we go to the park in our slither slish. Push a pat. Snap. Ta-da! Crack. 
crickle, hiss, tug, kaboom, ripple, shh, a whoosh. Squiggle of a line. <laughs> Look at that line. Oh my goodness. Such a squiggly line. And everybody's having fun with it. Pretty cool, huh? Look at all of these lines. You know, my favorite page of this whole book is probably right here. Because not only is this line circling around the moon. Look at the lines in the trees. Oh my goodness. And even the lines in the leaves. Look at how these twigs or these vines here are moving all around the picture. It's just so pretty. Oh, it's my favorite part of the whole book. So you see all those lines, you can make so many of them. Look, there's a circle line. There was a kind of flat curvy line, real smooth kind of line. Then there's a big puffy kind of cloud-like line like we talked about here. The fireworks, oh, they're so, they're so energetic. They're so busy, kind of crazy lines going on here making that crack and hiss kind of sound. Then there are these really straight lines, very straight lines for her to balance on the edge of the, of the line so that she can do all these cool tricks. Look at that. And guess what? There's even some lines in these circles. Look, oh, it's a curved line. These curved lines make circles too. <gasps> Pretty cool. And then this one, remember this one? This is kind of a boxy kind of line that goes up, down, over, down, up, down, over, down, up, down, over, down, all the way through the edge of the painting. Oh, it's so cool. The busy, crazy, curvy, zigzag kind of line. And then this one's pretty cool too, remember? That squiggly line that makes up the body of the dragon. Oh, super fun. Super fun. So keep an eye out in nature and outside when you're at home. Look at those lines that you might see in and around where you live. You might see something like this little girl did. Pretty cool. Look out for those squiggly lines. Pretty cool. So what I, I'm going to put this over here. And what I thought we could do is let's look in this book. This is where I made all of my artwork. I painted these paintings inside this journal. And you can see all kinds of different lines similar to those lines that we saw in the book see those trees that we talked about in the book i love painting trees look at all these squiggly lines squiggly lines squiggly lines all oh, these lines all over the place they're taking over oh so cool and this one we'll look at in a minute but look at this line there's some more lines here there's more straight lines that reach all the way to the sky some that even go way off the page and some lines that are kind of hidden they're kind of sneaking up on you behind the moon kind of like how we like to trick our teacher they're hiding look at that they're hiding and then there's some big fat lines that kind of dis disappear in the background they get smaller and smaller and then they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger this big old line here it's pretty cool looking and then there's some here. Look at this line. That kind of makes the edge of the mountain or the hill or the cliff here. And then again, with my trees, it's really straight, really straight lines all the way up to the sky. So good gracious, do I love to make lines. So let's make some together. Why don't you go on and grab a piece of paper, grab you a marker, grab you a crayon, a pencil, a pen, anything you want. And let's make some lines together. How about that, huh? Well, you can go on and pause this video if you want to. Go grab your supplies and then come straight back here and let's get to work together, okay? Come on back. Okay, so for right now, what we're going to do is you're going to take your marker, your crayon, your pencil, however you want, and let's copy drawing lines together. First of all, I'm going to come over here and I'm making a curvy line. I'm making really thin, tiny lines and fat lines. So go on and try and copy me. Make some curvy, wormy lines, fat lines, skinny lines, fat lines, skinny lines. Make them all over your paper. 
Make them all over your paper. Don't go completely all over your paper. Work in a small little section. Work in a small little section. Make skinny lines, then fat lines. And skinny lines, then fat lines. All the way around. And I just took mine to the edge of the paper. And that's good enough. So we've got squiggly lines that are fat and skinny. And they look really cool. So we've got that section done. Now let's flip through the book. Let's see. What else do we have? Ooh, we have like circled lines. I like these. I think I'm going to copy those kind of lines. You can copy with me. I'm going to start here on one side. You can start anywhere on the page. Anywhere you want. I made a circle. And then I'm going to make another circle that goes right beside it and make another circle. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Copy all the way around it. And then I'm going to make maybe, I'm going to actually do another one right in here. All the way around. There we go. We'll make another one. This is kind of like the water part. Like maybe this is water over here. Then I'm going to make another one that goes bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then one that goes even bigger all the way around. Kind of smooth, circly lines. Those are fun. I like those. That looks cool. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's see what else we got in the book. We've got circly lines. Ooh, now I like these. These are fun. Look at these. I like the energy in this one. Maybe we can do some of those up at the top of the painting and I'm going to use a different color. I've got some markers over here. These are super fun to use. But let's see, how about this one? This is a light blue color. You can use any color you want or stick with the same color you're using. So I'm going to make some puffy clouds. See up here? Making kind of curvy lines, kind of like how we made our scales with a rainbow fish. You can make that yoop, 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 yoop sound. And then I'm going to make some more over here that kind of keep going all the way around. Yoop, 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 yoop. So you may start with a white sheet of paper and you can draw these lines anywhere you want. But this way you can see how I like to draw in my artwork. Yoop, 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 yoop. See all those curvy lines? They look like those storm clouds, right? Oh, so much fun. So much fun. And then I said I wanted to do these too. Maybe we can add those on this part right here. Here. You can barely see it, but it's there. So they're kind of slightly curved lines. You can make those as well. Just try those in a small little section, making those lines. Okay? So you can always practice making lines. Some real circly, straight, smooth lines. Some yuppie kind of... Squiggly lines here, some squiggly lines here. There's all kinds of different lines that you can make. There's so many of them. So have fun playing and making your own kind of lines. Now I'm going to close the book here. I'm going to open up to my favorite page. And I am going to show you how to draw the tree. So if you have another piece of paper and a pencil, marker, anything you want. Just follow me. So let me see, what can we use? I think I'm gonna use a, <laughs> I'm gonna make use a purple marker. You can use any marker you want or a pencil or a crayon, whatever you want. But we're gonna make this tree right here and you can follow along with me and I'll show you how to do it, okay? So remember, these are squiggly lines, so we want to make as much squiggly lines as possible. So we're going to make this side of the tree right here, and you're going to copy me. So copy me and follow me. Draw your line that's squiggly. This is going to be one side of the tree. This is going to be one side of the tree. And draw it up. Draw it up to the sky. Draw it up to the sky. 
And then you're going to draw the other side of the tree. And then you're going to draw the other side of the tree. The other side of the tree. And then I like to make them kind of wrinkly. So I'm making little lines here and a little line there and a little line there. They look like little mm, flat sevens right here. And you stick them up against each other. And then you draw a line all the way to the bottom of the page. All the way to the bottom of the page. And then you've got the trunk. Look at that. We've got the trunk. Now, if it doesn't look like mine, it's okay. If it doesn't look like mine, it's okay. All right. Now we're going to make more of the branches. So you're going to make a line there. Connect and make a skinny little branch. Make a skinny little branch. And then you're going to make another branch, another branch. There's another branch. And then we're going to make another tall branch, so a squiggly line, a squiggly line. And then we're going to make another part of the branch, squiggly line, squiggly line, squiggly line. Excellent. So now we've got the trunk of the tree and the branches of the tree. We've got the trunk of the tree and the branches of the tree. Okay. Now you can go in if you want. You can add some squiggly lines in the bark. Some more tiny little squiggly lines inside. Just like that. Make them, remember how we did thick and thin? You can make tiny little lines. So thick little lines. Tiny little lines. And then thick lines. And then tiny little lines. Anywhere you want inside your tree make your lines squiggly as possible squiggly as possible okay so now comes the fun part are you ready now you can do with the same color a different color but i'm going to use green and i'm going to draw these cool vines that come all the way down so I'm making these squiggly lines that start at the branch, then come their way down. Start at the branch, then come their way down. Start at the branch, then come all the way down. Make sure they're nice and squiggly. Almost let your pencil drag across the paper. See what lines you can make. Draw your branches all the way down. Give them a little loop at the top, then bring them down. Start with the loop at the top, then let them droop down. Droop down. Droop down. All the way down. All the way down to the bottom of the paper. And look at that! You've got vines and you've got more lines as well. Look at that all these cool lines so cool now comes another one of my favorite parts are you ready are you ready this comes apart with all the little leaves all the little leaves all the little bitty leaves go all the way down go all the way down all the way down all the way down all the way down all the way down, the way down. see you could just draw like little bitty dots all over the vines. Give those vines some leaves. Give those vines some leaves. Just little bitty pecks. Bring them down all the way down to the edge of the vine. All the way down to the edge of the vine. Make your little dots. Make your little dots. All the way down. All the way down to the edge of the vine. To the edge of the vine. And then look. This tree is turning into some cool looking tree. And see, that's the fun part with trees is that you can make them look like any way you want. So if it doesn't look like mine, it's so okay. It's so okay. Make your lines look like yours. Make your squigglies look like yours. Make your squigglies look like yours. Make your dots look like yours any way you want. Because remember, you are the artist. You can make your tree look like anything you want. You can make little circles on the edge of your vine. You can make little triangles. 
You can make little triangles. You can make little hearts. You can make little hearts, just like that. You can make lines that go around and 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 around. You can do this any way you want. That's what's fun about being an artist is that you can do whatever you want. Whatever you feel like your fingers want to do, you just make it. Because you are clever artists, you are talented artists, you can do whatever you want. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, my tree is almost done. My tree is almost done. It's got hearts, triangles, and oh my goodness, so many cool things. Look at that. I love this so much. I love this so much. Looks so cool. Very nice job. So take your time. Take your time on your drawing. Make your tree look as squiggly as possible. Make all kinds of squiggly lines and have fun. Now, this is to your parents who are probably watching, watching, <laughs> who are probably watching or listening. I would love to see your little artist's artwork. I'm sure it is beautiful. So what you can do is you can click down below in the description below and you can click on my link uh, to my email and you can email me pictures of your little artist's artwork and I would love to see it. I miss you guys so much. I miss all of my students. And to be able to see you guys working and making some artwork would just bring me joy. I want to see everyone working and being creative and having fun and making all of your squiggly lines. So please feel free to share this artwork with me through my email and I will be tickled pink to see it. So I'm going to be getting some videos up again soon. And if you want, if you want, Parents, ask your, stu ask your young artists what they would like for me to draw maybe next. If there's something they would like for me to draw, something special, something that they want to learn how to draw, let me know in the email as well. I want to get as many ideas as possible. So just pass that along and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. See you next time.